This is a guided yoga flow mobility workout that is perfect as a recovery day workout for athletes, martial artists. I do jujitsu and I spend an awful lot of time curled up in a little ball to protect myself. And this is the perfect workout to help open up and release all of those parts that are usually pretty tight after jujitsu. We have uh, 10 reps per move, so we're gonna build an entire flow. And we're gonna break it down, each individual piece, and do that 10 reps per side, then move on to the next piece, the next piece, until we get to that whole entire flow, which we will also do 10 times on each side. I'm gonna be talking you through it the entire time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, like this video, drop a comment on your favorite move, and Contact me here or via any of my social medias to join me for group or one-on-one -on -one sessions. So coming down onto the floor for this, we're gonna start just by doing the shin box switch. This is probably one of my all-time favorite moves in the entire universe because my hips are tight and it always feels better. So 10 on each side, one, that's two. If you can use, if you can move without your hands, that's great. If you need your hands down on the ground, that's totally fine. Three. Four. You want to have enough space for your entire leg to go there, right? Your foot doesn't have to move when the other side comes over. Four. Five. I like nice round numbers. That's why we're doing ten. Also because I find that typically by the time you get to five or ten, you will find that the muscles have let go. You can move a little bit better. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Adding on from here, we're going to just do this shin box and then push, shin box, lift up, extend. So extending those legs, really squeezing your butt, pushing your pelvis forward. Again, if you need your hands, that's totally fine. Two. Allowing it to be a little bit extreme, this press forward with your glutes as you squeeze your glutes forward. Four. You can always get something to put underneath your knees. If this is a lot for you, I have a towel. Roll up that mat so it's double thick. Something like that. We're on six now. Always remembering to breathe. That's also super important really essential in any martial art you do as well. Eight. Almost there. Nine. One more on each side. Ten. So you already noticed if you can do these kinds of moves without using your hands, you're doing pretty good. And these are some very similar movements that we do in Jiu Jitsu. So adding on to that, we're going to do a shin box dancer's bridge. So one hand, that same side knee that is in front, we'll say, that hand goes posting down. The other hand reaches up tall, thrust forward, Really allow yourself to kind of fall back and you'll feel that stretch in that hip. So now, this is the knee that is facing forward because of the direction the knees are going. That hand posts. Reach up, stretch back. Oof. Feel free to take some extra time here if you want because it does feel really good. The other alternative in doing this is to do a big sweep, which looks really pretty like a dancer. Sweep forward. Here we go. Sweep. Oh, yeah. That's two. Three. 
Opening up the hips is always so important. Really for everyone, we spend a lot of time sitting nowadays and any chance we get to kind of counteract that sedentary movement and placement of our bodies is really helpful. That's five, oof. So I love yoga flow as opposed to uh, holding lots of positions in yoga because you always have an opportunity to come right back into that position, find that perfect placement as opposed to holding it where, you know, after a little bit of time, you might get tired in this position and something starts to sag or you try and compensate with some stronger area in your body. So by just hitting the pose and coming right out, you're finding proper placement and going right into the next movement. So still strengthening without the concern of injury because you're not trying to hold it for as long. Already feeling more open, low back feels great. One more on each side. Other side. Beautiful. So now we're gonna come, hands and feet are down on the ground. If you can, your fingers are facing towards your feet. If not, that's okay. You can have them out to the side. Whatever is more comfortable for you. As you get stronger, you will be able to put your fingers facing towards your toes. So first thing we're doing is just lifting up into a reverse tabletop. <sighs> Squeeze your butt as you come up. <sighs> Again, we don't have to hold here. Just getting into the position, really opening up the hips and chest. <sighs> Three, <sighs> four, I even feel this great stretch in my shoulders and down my arms. Five, six, seven, eight, already warming up now. Nine, ten. Now we're gonna move into one hand. So same idea. One hand is gonna be down, the other hand is right here in between my legs. So my right, right hand is working first to start, and that is how we will know which side we're on. Right hand is down, left hand is inside my legs. I'm going to lift my butt up and reach up and overhead. Up, overhead, come back down. Find that position again. Up, overhead, two. Back down, up, overhead. Nice, strong shoulder here. You want your arm in line with your shoulders. You have a nice, strong post, and you're pushing that shoulder down and away from your ear. So as you come up, it's not down here. You're way open. Five, six, seven, Eight, readjusting anytime you need. You might find your feet kind of walk out a little bit. That's totally normal. Nine, 10, coming down, other side. I'll switch my direction so that you can see me. Hand comes down kind of into the middle of your body. Other hand is in between your legs, up, and overhead, one, up, overhead, two, three, still a lot of work happening here, four, nice distance between my shoulder and my ears, squeeze those buns as you go up, five, six,
I'm back to my right side. Hand is still back behind me. Arm is in between my legs. I'm gonna go up, overhead, and twist so that hand is right over my face. Here we go. Adding on just a little bit to this movement, so you are staying in the pose for a split se second longer. It's really not about staying in the pose. Your arm is moving, so there's still movement happening, but you're getting stronger each time you do this move. Up, overhead, twist, come down. Always lots of control. That posting hand is leading everything. So if you don't have strength in that arm, that's where we need to start working. Three, four, five, always breathing, six, notice if your feet want to turn out here, try and keep those feet facing forward, eight, nine, and ten. Going to the other side. Same exact movement. I'm gonna stay here so you can see what it looks like from that back side. Hand is in between my legs. I'm gonna push up, overhead, and twist. Come down. Every time you come down, you have a chance to reset and rest. Here we go. Two. Up, overhead, twist. Three. Overhead twist, four. Up, overhead twist, five. If you need to move your hand, that's fine. It's normal to have to readjust. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. So, as you can see, this is not a move we often do in jujitsu where you're this open, but it feels really good and it's great for your body when you spend a lot of time in a little ball like this or in a turtle. Whew. Moving right along here. So we're gonna add on, we're going back to that shin box and I just want you to thread through. So, that knee, is in front. I'm going to post that arm and I'm going to thread through as much as I can. You can really try and like crawl your fingers forward. Make sure you can see a little bit on this side. So I make a nice little 90 degree angle with my arm. I'm going to crawl those fingers forward. If you can, you can rest your head down on the ground. So I'm here, 90 degree angle coming on. And I'm gonna reach and really twist. Again, feels incredible. Take your time here if you want to. <clears throat> Two, as a recovery day workout, it's about taking time and allowing things to feel good as much as it is still a workout. <sighs> Making sure to exhale every time you get into that position. <sighs> Three. Just gonna turn this way so you can see me. Reaching, <sighs> really pulling my fingers. I'm just kind of crawling to see if they'll go a little bit further every time. Four. Five, just got a little adjustment there. Six. 
twisting your back, really allowing this stretch because it should feel good. Seven. Always remembering to breathe. You don't want to hold your breath here. You really want to exhale so you can get even deeper into that stretch. This is eight. Ooh. Love this part of this flow. Nine, one more on each side. So also, we're still doing this shin box. By the time you're done, you will have done, I don't know, probably at least 100 shin boxes in the end on each side. So you'll feel the difference in your hips afterwards. And 10. So now we're going to actually do the first part of this flow so you can see what it's gonna look like. So hand comes down. I'm gonna go up, overhead twist, and then bring my hips down. Up, overhead twist, hips come down, knees go down, and then I thread that arm through. Coming back, we're gonna switch sides so we're alternating. So up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through. Coming back to center. Up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through. Find that center position. Up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread that arm through, that's two. There we go. Up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through. Back to center. Up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through, that's three. There we go. Right side again, up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through. Coming back to center, switch that hand, up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through. That's four. Up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through. Up, overhead twist. Hips down, knees down, five, five more on each side. Up, overhead twist, thread through. Up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through. Oh yeah, that's six. Overhead twist. As much as this feels good, it is definitely warming me up. Back to center, up, overhead twist. Hips down, knees down, thread through. Feel comfortable allowing each individual step to be its own. You don't have to brush through and make it really look like a flow or anything. It is a flow, even if we take our time with each individual part of it. Up, overhead, twist. Hips down, knees down, thread through. Back to center, other side. Up, overhead, twist. Hips down, knees down, thread through. That's eight. Almost there. Overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread that arm through. Up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through. One more on each side. 
up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through. Last one of these, sort of, <laughs> because we will be including them when we do the full flow. So we'll come back to the movement as we add on. So we've done the first half, really, probably more actually. So now I want you to get into that shin box. You're gonna put your elbow inside. So you're gonna lay down. This hand comes down, you can have it there. This hand is really just your, you're laying on your shoulder. And you're gonna bring those feet flat on the floor and press up. So you're getting a little twist as you do this. So again, find that shin box on the other side. That inside arm, or same side arm, is going to lay down. That other hand is really here for stability, just to make sure you feel comfortable and safe. Find those, the feet, the, the floor for both feet, and then press those hips up. Get a nice little twist. Switch that shin box. Elbow in, hand comes down. Press up. Switch that shin box. Elbow comes in, hand comes down. I'm gonna rest on that shoulder. Press up. Finding the floor for both of those feet. Get a nice flat footed position. Hand comes down, elbow comes inside. Press up. Switching sides. Hand comes down, elbow comes inside. You're gonna rest on that shoulder, press up. That's three. Hand down, elbow inside, press up. If you have vertigo or issues with your inner ear, you can always stay on one side for this whole movement before moving over to the other side. You can also just slow it down. There's no reason to move quickly. You can always find that set space. I have had clients who have vertigo and they actually love doing this workout because it helps them reset their inner ear and everything gets calm again and helps reduce any kind of vertigo attacks, I guess you'd say. Up. Other side. That's five. And you're just going to whatever your end range is. It might not look like mine, and that's okay. The more you do this, the better it will get. Hand down, elbow comes inside. Rest your head down, hips go up. Six. Hand comes down, elbow comes inside. Rest your head and shoulders down. Here you go, push up. Hand comes down, elbow comes inside. Rest down on that shoulder. Seven. You don't have to stay in that lifted position for a long time. You're just hitting that pose and then returning down. Hips come down and your knees come down. Then you push yourself back up to seated. If you try and go too fast, you try and get up without having yourself really set. So, down on that shoulder, lifting my hips up, hips come down, knees come down, and then I push myself back up to center. Hand comes down, elbow inside, rest my head down, find the floor with my feet, press up, hips down, knees down, press yourself back up, one more on each side, hand down, 
elbow inside, rest my head down, press up, hips down, knees down, then I return to seated. Last one, hand comes down, elbow inside, press up, hips down, knees down, press back. We're almost all the way through this, this flow with each of these individual pieces. So, I'm still in that shin box. I'm gonna come back into that position that we were just in. Hand comes down, elbow comes inside. I'm gonna press my legs up. And now, I wanna get this outside leg over the other leg. And then I'm gonna try and straighten those legs. This may be difficult, and the first few times may be a little awkward. That's totally fine. Bend those knees, try and get that hip down. Step back, push yourself back up to seated. Switching sides. For those of us in jujitsu, it's kind of actually pretty, pretty similar move to a lot of things that we do. Hand comes down, elbow comes inside, rest your head down, push those hips up. And now you're going to kick that back leg over. <sighs> Try and straighten those legs. <sighs> Bend your knees, hips come down. Step back, push yourself up to seated. Switching that shin box. <sighs> Hand comes down, elbow comes inside. Push up, step over. Bend those knees, hips come down. Step back. Push yourself up to seated, switching sides. Whew. Hand comes down, elbow comes inside. Push those, find, find the floor with your feet, push those hips up and step over. So again, there's not a lot of pressure on my head. It's really on my shoulder. Whew. Hips down, step back, Whew. switching sides. That's two. For those of you in jiu-jitsu, you know about having a lot of shoulder pressure. And that's kind of what we're working on here too. Hand is down, feet come flat on the floor, and step over. Come down, step back, press yourself up, switching sides. Hand down, elbow inside, press those hips up, and step over. Hips down, step back. Come back up to center, switching that shin box. Hand down, elbow inside. Push yourself up, step over. Hips down, step back. Back up, switching that shin box. Hand down, elbow inside. Push those hips up, step over. Hips down, step back, that's four. Switching that shin box, hand down, elbow inside, push your hips up, step over. If you need to drop your hips to get that foot over, that's totally fine. Hips down, step back, push yourself up to seated. Switching sides, hand down, elbow inside, push those hips up. You'll see they fall just a little bit as I kick that back leg over. I'm going to really push my butt up in the air, straighten those legs, heels are pressing down towards the ground, bend my knees, hips come down, step back. Switching sides. Here we go. Up and over. Hips down, step back, press yourself up. Hand down, elbow inside. Press those hips up, step over, hips down, step back, Got three more on each side, hand down, elbow inside, push up, step over. So now this hand is maybe potentially doing a little more to keep you upright and stable. I don't really need it, but it's nice to know it's there. So if you do need it for the first few times, the first times, a couple times you do this workout, that is totally fine. My hand is always there. It's just an extra safety measure. 
push up, step over, right? I don't need it here, but it does make me feel good to know that I have that extra bit of security and safety. Two more on each side, up and over. It's just another point of contact to help me feel more balanced. Up and over, hips down, step back, push yourself up to seated, another shin box, last time on each side, hand down, elbow inside, push your hips up, step over, hips down, step back, press yourself up, switching sides, hand down, elbow inside, push your hips up, step over, beautiful, hips down, step back, coming back up, Whew. so now we're going to put that whole flow together. It's that first little bit of the flow that we already put together. And then these couple pieces are a little bit more complex. So, right hand is down. And feel free to grab some water if you need to. Take your time with these, there's no rush. Hands come down, other hand is inside. I'm going up, overhead, twist. Hips come down. Knees come down. I'm going to thread that arm through. Oh, that feels so good. That hand now comes down. Elbow comes inside. I'm already here. Finding the floor with my feet. Press those hips up and step over. Hips come down. Step back. Push yourself up and find your seat again. That was one on the right side. So that right hand is the one that's back. So now, left hand is back. We have 10 on each side. Up, overhead twist. Hips down, knees down, thread through. That hand is gonna come down on the ground. Arm is gonna post inside. Find the floor with my feet, push up and step over. Hips down, step back, push yourself back up to seated. Nine more on each side. Here we go. Up, overhead twist. Hips down, knees down. Thread that arm through. Hand comes down, elbow comes inside. Press those hips up. Step over. Hips down, step back. Press yourself back up to seated. Other side. Up, overhead twist. Hips down, knees down, thread through. Hand comes down, elbow inside. Press up, step over. Hips down, step back. Back to seated. Here we go. Up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through. Hand down, elbow inside, push those hips up, step over, hips down, step back. Switching sides. Up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread that arm through. That hand comes down, elbow comes inside, press those hips up, step over, hips down, step back, push up to seated, that's three. Up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through. Hand comes down, elbow inside, press up, and over. Beautiful. Hips down, step back, come back up to seated. Whew. Here we go. Up, overhead twist. Hips down, knees down, thread that arm through. Hand comes down, elbow inside. Push those hips up, step over. 
hips down, step back, back to seated, four, up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through, hand comes down, elbow inside, and step over. Other side, up, overhead twist. Hips down, knees down, thread that arm through. Hand comes down, elbow inside, press up, step over. That's five. Halfway, we're almost done. I'm sweating, I don't know about you guys. But I definitely love this workout because I feel like I sweat, feel like the worked out, but I also feel great afterwards. Step over. Here we go. Up, overhead twist. Hips down, knees down, thread through, hand comes down, elbow inside, press up, and step over, hips down, step back. And if you find the 10 reps of each of these things and the full flow is too much, that's fine. Start with two or four or five. Whatever feels right for your body on that specific day, because every day is different. So just allow yourself to be where you are and do what feels right for your body. It's always a great way to know you're making progress when you work up in reps. Up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through, hand comes down, elbow inside, push up, step over, push yourself back to seated, here we go, up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through, hand down, elbow inside, push up, step over, this is eight, up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through, Hand comes down, elbow inside, push up, step over. Whew. Coming back up. We got two more on each side, and then we're done. Up, overhead twist. Hips down, knees down, thread through. Hand down, elbow inside, press up, step over. Hips down, step back, press yourself back to seated, other side. <sighs> Hips down, knees down, thread through, hand comes down, elbow inside, press those hips up, step over, <sighs> hips down, step back. One more on each side. Here we go. Up, overhead twist. Hips down, knees down, thread through, hand down, elbow inside, press up, step over, step back, back up to seated, the last one, here we go, up, overhead twist, hips down, knees down, thread through, hand down, elbow inside, push up, Step over, hips down, step back, come back to seated. Great job. I know that every time I do this, especially after a big week of training, I feel better, my back feels better, my hips feel more open, and I feel like I'm ready to conquer the world. Thank you for joining me.